Hello Endless here and today is going to be a great day, also a busy day. I just received a text that the rig that I won from Sun Cycle My Dream PC campaign is going to be delivered today. Almost two months after the campaign ended, finally I'm going to get my new rig. Uh, now I'm going to go move my car away from my front door so the delivery guy can pass me the PC. Now I just have to wait for the delivery guy to come. My new rig is here. So this one is probably the PC build and these are all the empty boxes but I'm not going to unbox this uh, today because I'm still finished building up my custom keyboard probably I will unbox this uh, the day after tomorrow finally I managed to squeeze some time to open up my new build first let me show you what component that's going into my build Here are the accessories for the casing and then for storage we have a 2TB SSD this is the motherboard 32 gigs of RAM 850 watt power supply this is the all-in-one liquid cooler and for the brain I'm running 5600X and then the most expensive part the RTX 3080 here comes the main cast my new ITX PC Look at the size difference compared to my old desktop PC This is a Lianli casing And did you know that Sunny Side Up design ITX casing is actually also manufactured by Lianli? This is a 20cm ruler and you can see my new ITS casing, the depth is more than 20cm lesser than my old desktop. SunCycle may not have the best cable management but that is understandable because they are the distributor, they do not deal directly to consumer. They bring in the products and we build awesome things out of them. Let's do some cable management. First I need to remove all the parts from the casing.
I'm replacing the rubber feet with something taller. Put it in on wax paper so I can reuse them. Unfortunately, the screw that came with the case fit is too large for the screw thread. Let's head out to get some screw that fits the casing. Alrighty, brand new case fit for the casing. I'm using 20mm standoff to lift the motherboard from the spine so I can tuck my power supply cable behind the motherboard. I'm changing my radiator fan orientation from intake into exhaust. By theory, it should cool down my GPU more. u shape power connector for better cable management. Please stop raining, my house flooded twice last year. Still not quite satisfied with the cable management, I'll redo it after Chinese New Year. Also, I'm replacing the mesh side panel with a tinted tempered glass side panel. Damn, peeling off protection film always feels so satisfying. Finally, I have time to do some modification and cable management on my new PC. I've been using it for more than a month and so far it's been great. Uh, my usage are usually video and photo editing but less on gaming. Let's hope that this year I have more time to play games on. Working with an ITS casing definitely need a lot of patience. I used like almost 8 hours yesterday just to recable and do the, all the modification. Uh, and I ran into quite a few hiccups though. The first one would be the fit that I bought for the case. The screw doesn't fit so I have to went out and get some screw that fit with the casing. The first time when I boot up the PC, the AIO is actually not working but luckily enough, it's only the SATA power connector is not connected properly. And the most funny hiccups that I run into is actually the thermal paste. The thermal paste that I bought is counterfeit product. Maybe I'm too long not in PC building scene. Who makes fake thermal paste? Oh my. After the standoff modification and cable management, my CPU's temperature stays the same. Maybe because of my uh, radiator fan orientation because now it's a push instead of pulling fresh air in. Or maybe because it's the fake count, uh, thermal paste, I'm not sure. But the GPU temperature, I can see a significant drop in temperature. For during the idle temperature, it drops around uh, 10 degrees. And during load, it drops around uh, 5 degrees. 
which I think is uh, quite impressive. For future, I would like to try out slimmer power supply cable to improve the cable management and also the airflow and definitely going to reapply with legit thermal paste. This PC is uh, definitely very great. Uh. Looking at the build right, I paid like less than 6000 for a Ryzen 5 and RTX 3080 system. What more can I ask? To get the 3080, I mean to get the RTX card right now right, it's like looking for a unicorn okay un unless you have the cash right got to thank sun cycle malaysia for having this campaign giving me the chance to win this pc to replace my 10 year old macbook which is sitting there right now as a decoration and not to forget my friends and family that helped me a lot during this campaign love you uh so yeah now let me go and play some games on the pc thank you everyone let's hope for a better 2022 Bye!